everybody, Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you this rather bright in coloured card that I have used the lovely Paisley Framelits just to cut out all these bits and bobs here and obviously used the current in colours to decorate. Um, it's just a slightly different card. It's something similar that was in, in the catalogue um, and I just thought I'd have a go at recreating it but maybe doing it my own way um, so I'm going to do something very similar with this one so I'm just going to show you how I did it. So obviously I've got um, thick whisper white as my base and then I've got just the normal whisper white as my layer and that's really what I need to be working with at the moment. Um, you then need your paisley framelits. Now mine aren't on a sticky back on this one because I took them all out um, but they are all loose in here and uh, you basically just need to decide what you want to do on your card. So obviously with this one, I really wanted the big, bold bits in the background. Um, but you could do it the other way and have the decorative bits, although maybe then the bold bits would stand out a bit too much. So maybe maybe you're better off doing the bold bits. So um, just to put that one to one side so you can see. So we start off with just popping uh thinlets on here and you just really design them any which way you want to um my idea was to have five so that it shows off the five in colors um but you can do as many or as little as you want so i think i'm actually just going to stick with that one so i'm just going to pull this off to one side and i'm going to bring in my big shot sandwich and I'm just literally going to place this on here now because they've all just stuck to the magnets and spun around and just decide again making sure I'm happy with the placement because obviously you're going to have the banner in the centre as well so you need to make sure that you have um, room for that and that it's not going to be hanging off the edge so I'm happy with that so pop my sandwich top on even though they've just moved a little it's not a big problem and then I'm just going to run it through the big shot and because they're nice big um, non-intricate pieces you can just use your normal magnetic platform so just put that over there and then take that away and then you're left with your die cut pieces so you can hang on to these little shapes if you want you can maybe use them on a different card or just use them on a on one of the ink colors maybe so there's my layer which is fairly similar to this one and then i generally keep all my bits of off cuts in plastic wallets and then just label them so that i know which ones are where um, and so I just basically went along grabbed a bit of an off cut popped it underneath where I wanted it to go and then well that one's got a bit of a let's change that one then to th that one so we'll pop that one down there and then all I did wherever I put them if you hold it up to the light and I think you can just about see you can see where the edge of the cardstock is and keeping it in place I just simply cut around the shape so I've just given it enough of an overlap to cover there it's not overlapping the other bits and it just fills that bit in and once you're happy with that one and where it's going to go you just get your snail and add a little bit either side and the reason I'm only adding a little bit either side you will see in a few moments and then that's that one stuck on and so you carry on with all the others I'm going to pop that over to one side so the next one I have is Tranquil Tide so I've got a couple of bits here so we'll grab this one and I think because that's a nice big bit I'm going to put that one there so again same as before just simply cut around the shape 
I'm sure there's a probably is a slightly better way of doing this but I actually think this is fun so again that's been cut out so I just get some of my snail pop it on the edges and then just remembering which way it goes is always the fun part and just stick it on and then next one is powder pink so again I'm going to just pop that one at the top so because this is only a small one I'm quite confident to just cut a small bit off there so again let's stick this one on and the last two we have fresh fig oops and very burst so I'll just find a small bit in here let's see I think that might just be okay so fresh fig for this one at the bottom going to trim a bit of this off so there's that one and then I'm literally just going to cut that strip there because that will go on there so let's add some snail for this one and then a bit of snail for this one I just want to Stick that there, you just need to trim a little off there. And there you have, that's the base quite easily done and added some colour. And then I just literally stuck this onto the back and this is why I said you don't need to be too uh, worried about sticking these small pieces on because it's going to be stuck onto the card anyway. I've put plenty on there just to cover all the bases really and then just stick your layer on and then obviously you can decorate it however you like so again I've cut some more of these out which again just grab whichever ones you like flower flower I might go with that one this time and then, but with this one, I am going to use, when I can find it, my thinlet adapter and then my sandwiches. But I, oh, there's the other one, thought I'd lost it. And then again, we're just going to stick on bits of. Um, cardstock so there's my very first and then I want a piece of that one fresh fig and I've only got four so I'm not going to use the powder pink because that one will stand out at the top there anyway some tranquil tide and the beautifully bright lemon lime twist so oops let's try that way so I'm just going to stick these pieces on here and then just decide what you want on which one. Let's swap them over. And then again, sandwich. And yes, I have just noticed that one's just smoothed ever so slightly. There we go. And I'm just going to pop that in, run it through. Oh, it's all my blocks rattling on there, I do apologise. Let's move that, bring this back in. So that's those. Let's move that. And then obviously we just need our bits pop 
taken out. Pokey tool. Just take those bits out and then just push that one. Take them out and then we've got all these little bits on this one which I'm just going to pop out with my pokey tool. Sorry my piercing tool. I always call it a pokey tool and I don't really know why. Always been a pokey tool. I suppose it's because I never actually use it for piercing, so I just say it's a pokey tool. These aren't all going to come out, but oops, I'm not actually concerned because I actually will hide some of that anyway. So then there's the pretty flower. And then this final one, to pop all your bits out. This is always the fiddly bit. Have you guys seen the new um, offers that are available during July? Aren't they just amazing? If you haven't seen them, pop over and have a look either at my blog or Instagram or Facebook because they're all on there. Um, basically, if you join Stampin' Up! Become a demonstrator, join my fabulous team, the Stampettes, during the month of July you get a whole heap of goodies extra all for the same price of £99. So you get two clear blocks, some snail adhesive, you get um, grid paper, this fabulous grid paper, um, I said snail, didn't I? I can't remember all of it. It's just so amazing. But there is a new stamp set as well that you get that is not going to be available for purchase until the 1st of August. But obviously, if you join now, you will get it as an extra. Um, it is a beautiful stamp set. It's got so many possibilities. Um, it really is something that you need to be thinking seriously about because it is fantastic. So hop on over to my blog, have a look. It is amazing. Uh, also, if you place an order during July, then you also get um, what they are now doing, these bonus day vouchers. I'm going to stick these on while I'm rattling on to you. Um, yes, you now get bonus day vouchers, which um, basically are clearly as they say you get a voucher for every 45 pounds you spend you get a voucher to the value of four pound fifty which you can use um during the month of august so for example if you place an order for 90 pounds then you will get um two four pound fifty vouchers that you can then spend in august isn't that amazing I haven't planned this very well, look, because I've now got this one next to this one. Just wonder, can I pop him off? Yes, I can. That's better. So let's stick those there. So yes, you really must have a look at the offers that are going on this month because they truly are amazing. Right, I do apologise, I'm going to have to blow my nose. I just had a sneeze brewing and now it's gone. And I don't want to be sniffling all the way through the rest of the video because it will drive you crazy probably drive me crazy too right so to now cover this unsightly bit i'm just going to do a little bit of stamping now is that going to be that might just be good enough for me so um paisleys and posen is this beautiful thankful grateful blessed I'm just going to pop onto my D block, double check that it will fit just onto there. I'm going to grab my fresh fig. The reason I thought about that was because I didn't use fresh fig on this other card for the um, embellishments, so I just stuck with it to add the colour, but I'm not too concerned with this one. So let's stamp onto there pop that away. I then want some... no. 
I then want some fresh fig. Where did I throw the packet? Is that it? Yes. A piece of fresh fig cardstock to back onto. And that looks just about right. Now I am a little bit naughty with this. When I do layering for small pieces like this, I generally don't use my trimmer. I'm a little bit naughty and I use my eye and a pair of scissors. So I've got two edges that I'm quite happy with there. I then grab my large scissors and I just simply run along. Now, two things. I have the, my finger on the scissors there so it almost keeps it in a straight line. I also look at the reflection of the card that I'm cutting in the scissors and I make sure that I keep that equal and in line too. And I think you'll agree that that is pretty straight. And then I just add some dimensionals to the back. And then pop it over the bits that have been adhered on the patterns. Just in the centre there. I'm actually going to drop it down a fraction just because of that one. And then last but not least, just add some beautiful rhinestones just randomly around just to add a little bit of bling to the card. Oops, come here. And there you have it. A really bright, pretty card, just ideal for anybody. And I think you'll agree with those in colours, they're just really pretty. Hope you've enjoyed this card and I hope that you guys get to make something very similar as well. Everything that I've used is available in the current catalogue. The link for that is below, you just click on the um, link to my shop. Um, all the information will also be on my blog which will give you what I've used. Um, and all the information with regards to all the amazing deals this month are also there. So hop along, have a look. Um, and if you have any questions, by all means, just contact me and I will help as best I can. Hope you all have a great day. See you soon. Bye.